Yo, what is going on guys? It is Tyler here, back with another YouTube video. Now in today's video guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the 144Hz AOC C24 G1 24 inch gaming monitor. Let's get into the video. <laughs> So there's actually a lot of reasons why I got this monitor. One of them being is that I was going around on Amazon because I was looking for like an 144 hertz monitor since I've never actually played on 144 hertz before. My old monitor was only 75, so I really wanted this experience to see what it feels like on 144 hertz. And I wanted to get a good monitor that was at a good price. And I came across this AOC monitor. It was only $144 on Amazon and it was originally 180 discounted. And just looking at all the features and stuff it comes with, it was going to be so hard to pass up and I knew it, this was the right one to get. So if we go ahead and go in to get a little bit of a closer look at the box, you can see right here, it just says it's from the G1 series. There's actually a lot of different monitors in this series. I think they're just like bigger and have like different specs and whatnot. So right here, it just says G1 series gaming, expand your world, pretty cool. And then right over here on the box is just all the good features that it comes with. And this is what actually made me buy the monitor. Now, one of the things is right here that it's curved. I mean, that's not necessarily what I was looking for, but I couldn't pass it up for the price. I would much rather have a flat panel, but I guess it's okay. Then another thing is that it comes with AMD FreeSync, which since I have an AMD graphics card, this is literally perfect. It's gonna make my gameplay so much smoother. We got the wide viewing angle, the VA panel. That's good, and 144 hertz, obviously, with the one millisecond response time. And then we got HDMI and display port, whatever. And then we got game color, so, yeah, all really good stuff for the price. Like, I'm actually surprised that it comes with all of this. Now we're gonna go open up the box and get a closer look at the monitor. So after the box is open, we're brought to this right here, just like everything kind of holding the monitor in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Now we're just gonna pull this all out and I'll get back to you guys when I don't know. So after we have it all opened up guys, we're brought to this right here. So we got our power cable right here, I believe. We got, uh, this is HDMI right here. And we also have display port cables, which is really nice that they have that. That's another reason why this is just such a great monitor for the price that they're able to provide those because they're, I mean, kind of expensive, I guess. I mean, I guess you can find them for like $10, but that's kind of nice. Most monitor boxes don't even include that at all. And then it looks like we got the stand right here. It's taped down, so I can't really get that out. And then we got the little uh, thing that you put on the, you put into the stand. I don't know what to call it, but got that. And then we just got a manual right here, just the quick setup guide for the monitor. And then under this, I believe, is the actual monitor. And then right here, we're brought to this, which is has the actual monitor in it, all wrapped up nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this out real quick. And here we are. We got the monitor itself right here, looking pretty nice. Just edge to edge, no bezels at all like my old ones. Just looking really nice and clean. And then we got like a little sticker right here telling you all about it. We got 8OC and then, you know, we got the whole red going on in the bottom which is good because that'll match my setup so now we're just gonna put everything together get this on the stand and yeah so this is looking like a pretty straightforward setup so far you know you got the stand right here and we got those two little mounds at the top which go with this main part right here you just stick that down this is the main part that'll be holding the monitor in place so I believe all we gotta do is just pop this in place like this maybe give it a little push Then we got this little screw that we got at the bottom just so it'll hold in place. So I'm pretty sure you guys should just be able to tighten this with your hand. It's not too hard to do. I think I got it. And that should be good for this part. Then we got this part on the back right here that should lock into the stand that we just had. So 
it should just slide up right into these things and go right in place without any screws or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick now. Now that we got it in, it looks something like this. It's actually really cool. You know, we got the, you know, it turns all the way like this. It can go almost nine degrees. Well, not actually, probably like 45, but it'll go like that way. Also turn really well. And then another cool feature that I realized is that it goes up and down and it's actually really easy. Like I'm hardly even pushing this and it's just go all the way down to there or all the way up to here. It's really nice how it's height adjustable. Now I'm just gonna kind of plug everything in and show you when it's plugged into my computer. Now I got my monitor all set up and plugged into my computer. Everything's looking pretty good. I mean, it's nice. The bezels are not really there at all. I mean, there's a tiny bit on the outside, but otherwise it's pretty good and um you know there's no dead pixels or anything i got some things in the reviews saying that there was some dead pixels that came with some people's but mine was actually fine so that's all good now i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys some of the settings that you can do on this monitor since it's a gaming monitor there's like a lot of settings and stuff that you can mess with and yeah let's get into it all right so it's kind of hard to see but right next to the power button there's this little thing that almost looks like a book or something i'm not really sure so you guys hit that to go into the settings. Should pop up this. And we just got all different types of different settings. We got extra with all of this different stuff. That's how you exit out. We got the luminance, like the contrast, brightness, all of that. We got image setup. You can like mess with all this if you want your monitor to look a little bit better. Picture boost. We got the OSD setup. And then we got gaming setting, which is, this is cool. You can change all these different modes like within the thing. So if you go down to game mode, you can switch to like, okay, let me go back up to that real quick. And kind of flip through this. If you select it, you can go on FPS mode, go RTS, racing, gamer one, two, three, and off. I'm just gonna leave it at off right now. And then there's all a bunch of other stuff. You got low input lag, shadow control, game color, and then of course, free sync. You're gonna want that on if you have an AMD graphics card because it's definitely gonna help you out a lot because you're not gonna get as much screen tearing or anything. And I think I already showed you guys extra. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the settings. You can fool around with those if you want. Um, I'm not going to right now, but I might in the future if I want something a little bit better looking. I mean, right now it does look pretty good. Like, I'm actually surprised for $140. This is a very good monitor. Like, the resolution is really good and everything. And so far, I'd highly recommend buying this. There you go. So now, guys, last but not least, the one last thing you guys need to do with this monitor is change the refresh rate. What I mean by that is... When you get this monitor and first open it up out of the box, it's going to come with 59 hertz, I'm pretty sure. Just like, and it's going to set your monitor as that, so you guys are going to want to change it, or else you guys are going to be getting 59 hertz for the rest of the time you're playing this if you don't change this setting. I don't know why it does that, but it just does. So, in order to change that, you guys are going to want to go over to the little control panel here. You guys are going to want to go over to settings. And then you guys are going to want to go to system. And then go to display. And then right over here where it says like all your different stuff, 1920 by 1080, make sure it's set to that. Then go to advanced display settings right here. And then it'll show your monitor right here. And then what you guys are going to want to do is display adapter properties for display one. You guys want to click that and see how it says 59 hertz. That's not what we want. So we want to change that. Um, so there's my graphics card. You guys are going to want to go over to monitor right here. And then see how it says the re refresh rate is 59 hertz. I just want to go down to this drop down arrow right here. Go all the way to 144 hertz. And then hit apply. And keep changes. And your screen might go black for a second. But that's just how it adjusts the monitor. And now you guys should be at 144 hertz. And you should notice a big difference. And it should feel nice. So yeah guys, if you guys have everything you want in your monitor settings done and you guys got your monitor set to 144 hertz, you guys are ready to go play some games on 144 hertz, which is going to be insane because, you know, 
if you've never played on 144 hertz for, before like me you know it's going to be a great experience nice and smooth i would highly recommend this monitor it's been very good so far you know images are very sharp everything looks great on this monitor and it's just all just overall a great monitor for the price i mean you can't beat 144 dollars for 144 hertz monitor and yeah guys that's really it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace